I joined the Basij or Hezbollah. I served in the Basij for three years, uh, shouted death to Israel, burned flags, uh, thought that uh, they are killing my Muslim brothers. As a result, they said, hey, would you be willing, if you're willing to die for Allah, would you be willing to kill for Allah? So I joined a group that was uh, doing the public executions in, uh, in Iran. And for the first time, I felt God's presence. I mean, I had had the spiritual experiences as a Muslim, but to experience God's presence, I had never had. And I immediately realized that he's holy and he's just, and I am not. At that point, as I was thinking these things, I felt a touch on my left shoulder and a voice that says, I forgive you. And his words, uh, his words penetrated right through me, grabbed hold of everything that made me unclean and unjust. And it vanished. And I felt physically lighter. And I knew I am forgiven. I said, so who are you? Because I have studied about God for 12 years, but you I do not know. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And I thought to myself, wow, powerful words. I know it means so much, but I have no idea what it means. So I asked, I don't understand what it means. What is your name? He said, Jesus Christ. And I fell on my face and wept for about two hours. I have good news for the Iranian people. God has not forsaken you. Neither has he forgotten you. He has remembered your kings, Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes. He has remembered all the good things you did for him, in his name, for his people, and for all the other nations. And he is calling you back into your own spot to be a blessing to the nations. Acts News Network. From Jerusalem to the nations. This morning, Hamas fired a rocket that hit the school. What's really important? It's now 80% of the council's resolutions are against Israel. Visit Acts News Network. Accessible, informative, inspiring. Future peace negotiations. You know, Jerusalem is so central to the Jewish people. Celebrating life. Preparing for war. Acts News Network. Online with the Times.